Hello there, welcome to my channel and today's video it's a comparison between Boba Fett and Disney's Boba Fett. Well, Disney did him good in Mandalorian but fucked him hard so bad in Book of Boba Fett. So this video is just to compare the two portrayals. To be honest, Boba Fett doesn't have hardly 30 minutes of screen time in the original trilogy but still his presence is menacing. Now people, those who saw Star Wars when it came out, they were intrigued by the mystery and the mysticism of Boba Fett. Like he doesn't even talk that much, he doesn't have to introduce himself. Not if some other character has to drop an exposition dump about Boba and he was introduced as just another bounty hunter that Vader appointed to catch our good guys. And at the end of the movie, he is the only bounty hunter who catches Han and Leia in Cloud City and thus gave the audience a reason to remember him. And in the next movie, he dies pretty early on, well way early to be honest, but still his menacing presence and badassery was not killed. That's why his character is given the backstory in the prequels where we get to see him as a young unaltered clone of the Mandalorian Jango Fett and then we get more of his backstory throughout Clone Wars and he was built up to be a villain. He wouldn't even think twice if he had to kill his clone brothers. There was an episode or an arc if I'm not wrong where Boba Fett takes on Mace Windu and Anakin Skywalker and that further establishes badassery and then came the Disney who purchased Lucasfilm and stopped Clone Wars. And with the with the cancellation of Clone Wars, a portion of Boba's story that was supposed to be in the Clone Wars got chopped. So that's the end of the Boba Fett we all knew and loved. After Disney's acquisition of Star Wars, the Star Wars Disney movies didn't resonate well with all fans and some of the OGs were pissed off by episode 8. And you all know how that period went. Amidst all the Disney crap, there was a glimmer of hope which came in the form of Mandalorian. And united almost all the fans and people really got excited and by the time of season 2, people started reporting rumors. Tamara Morrison, who plays Jango Fett in the prequels and all the clones, is back. And there were also reports that he may be back as Boba Fett and he did show up in Mandalorian season 2 and we got a scene where he takes on a bunch of stormtrooper without his armor or weapons. All he had was the Tusken Raider stick, graffiti stick, I don't know, whatever that is. And that moment was pretty badass. The next episode he joined Mando and Sosie's badassery and it was just okay but by the next episode his badassery was just gone in a snap and we don't get the spark. Further down the line he gets his ass beaten by Sasha Banks character. Then he is missing in the real climactic battle at the end of season 2. Well it was not that bad to be honest because his portrayal in Book of Boba Fett was like he is a changed man and the change doesn't happen gradually but suddenly from the beginning his role in this show for the first four episodes was just talking and walking and back to dreaming. Though we get to know about his past but still that was not relevant to the story running whatsoever. And another thing Disney did was toned down his character a lot to fit the Disney plus PG rating and all it did was put a Disney princess in the armor of Boba Fett. That's the best way to describe him for the first few episodes. And the funniest part, the best two episodes of this show didn't even include him and the other one was like he did a cameo. The real Boba Fett does make an appearance in Book of Boba Fett. Well, he makes a cameo when he killed a group of Nikto Bikers gang with his not slave one. And that's it. The rest of the show, he was pretty weak and crippling, dude. Who likes to talk a lot and fight a little. It's just like Luke Skywalker transformation. You know all about that, right? 
the optimistic look from New Hope was turned into the grumpiest old dude in The Last Jedi and similarly the badass Boba Fett from Empire Strikes Back turns into a wimpy ass Boba in Book of Boba Fett. I guess he writes a book now. Next season he's an author? Author Boba? Maybe. That's what Disney is going I think. The jarring difference between Boba Fett's portrayal in the original trilogy and the shows before Disney acquisition was like he was a badass. But after Disney acquisition this show, his character portrayed to be as a not so competent dude. Really the actor who plays Boba Fett, Tamara Morrison, even he agrees to the fans and he also thinks that Boba Fett talks a lot and I'm pretty sure you have definitely watched that thing on Twitter going around. I'm pretty sure you've seen that on or somewhere. If this is how Disney starts running all the fan favorites one at a time, then not long after people will abandon Star Wars for good. And maybe, just maybe, with John Favreau and Dev Filoni at helm, a new hope will arise. That's it for today's video and hope you all enjoyed it and if you did, please hit the like button. And if you agree with me or you may not agree with me, but let me know that in the comments. And follow me on Twitter at T-R-A-G-O-N-E-M 420. And till then, see ya.